for manufacturing of potato chips. Yes, we start from the requirements. We will be purchasing potato chips. Yes, and then so it will be subjected to the transformation. So where we get the purchasing of the potatoes from the agricultural area, where a plenty of potatoes will be available. So we do purchase it, and then it is subjected to transportation. So it needs to <coughs> reach the place of the potato chip manufacturing organization. And after that, you will be unloading it. Unloading means what? Already the loaded potatoes will be loaded, unloaded to your area where you are going to make the chips. Okay? And then so you will go for storage <coughs> And then grade and inspecting. So what, uh, what is about grading is that? Yes, of course, I purchase plenty of potatoes. I need to grade it. So I want to grade. Yes. A performance, the potato values is not good. So you have a, a what not a good quality potato. So you will be grading and under subjected to the inspection. Okay. So unless and until you do not uh, subjecting it to the inspection, you won't grade the potatoes. Okay. So the grading and inspection process, after that you will be sorting it. So why do we need to sort it? And you know very well the size of the potato varies with the bigger size to the smaller size. So we will be Trading into two kinds, the biggest, smallest, and the moderate. Okay? So after that, you will be subjecting the potatoes to a chemical wash. Why a chemical wash is needed? Why an ordinary wash cannot be? If I do not go for the chemical wash, so obviously we make use of fluoridated water also. Okay? So because it will not affect much uh, when you go for washing. Okay? So it will kill all the germs and so that uh, the potato will be remain fresh. Okay? So we go for all the things and we will be finding out when you observe that when you subject to a chemical wash all the waste will be removed. So it will you are into an organization it is to your managerial responsibility part. So all the waste so you will be into the every aspect of the three dimensional analysis. Yes, I will be doing this work. So what would be the outcome? And the outcome would be uh, what? If it is a waste, how can I uh, properly dispose of it? So properly also a very important in any organization. It's not the kind that you would be very selfish or you would be very cautious enough to make your profit of your product allowed in your organization. So you should also have consciousness towards the societal impacts. Yes, of course, you can imagine for a dyeing industry, dyeing agent, okay? So all the outlets that is coming from as a dyeing agent gets contaminated into the river. It causes the effect to the public or the society. Similarly, similarly here, the waste disposals cannot be disposed in the right manner. It would able to contaminate it any way to the nearby places or the surrounding places. So we need to have conscious enough to make a proper disposal of the waste that is coming out from the organization, which you are uh, what, taking care of your products for your product. And also you will be in the next step, so you are purchasing the potatoes and what are the two main things uh, that you need is that potato and oil to fry, to get the chips. Okay, so you go for oil purchase and then 
knowledge. So what you did was coming from the thing and then subjected to washing and after that washing it will be storage and after that storage what? So you will be washing the oils, oils will be storage and then they will be shaped, it will be heated up, it will be heated up for some degree Celsius and after that the cutting process and that so what it rolls and all the outlets of your potatoes comes out and after it is coming out it will be subjected to some what? A mixing uh, things or uh, what or all the spices subject to packaging. Packaging unit. After that packaging unit again it goes for another box. So in one box you are able to attempt it and find packaged items. Okay. So and we will be fixing the MRP rate. So before packaging the MRP rate will also be fixed. What is called as maximum retail price. Okay. So after doing that yes. You can see here the unfold and file and then packaging waiting box. And after that you go for very important aspect what is called, called as a quality control that needs to be managed over here. Yes, of course, you are controlling the quality in what aspect? Yes, of course, all the 25 boxes are packed in a secure or in a safety manner. You know, when else did you purchase a, or when you buy a open, a seal open a potato chip packet, definitely not. So, you check each and every quality and finally, that will be a uh, person. So we'll be into a involvement in the organization who is called as quality manager or quality check manager because so every product will be checked by the quality who gives the assurance yes the product is quality so whether all the validity will be given so the product the validity if it is manufactured on June so what is the consumption period so June to June one year or six months according to the products okay so we fix it and after that Go for uh, the pricing. Yes, I told about the pricing, and then you load it. And there you go. So I uh, imagine you try to pack it and then put it into a box. And the box will be what? We cannot directly sell everywhere, right? So that will be given to a container. Container will take this. Again, the transportation where the transportation of the container goes to various dealers. That's what it is. After pricing, you load it. And after you load it, it will be subject to distribution. So where will be is of course to all your what dealers. So what the dealers so because the wholesale dealer will be there. What wholesale dealer will be doing? The wholesale dealer will be giving all the shooting everywhere. Yes, can you just tell me what such branded products so who is it uh, what is it to distribution? Anything? Example? I will ask you uh, later. Anything. So we have uh, distribution and then storage and then subjected to sales and then <coughs> so you get the value yes and then uh, we go for another primary goals for managers which every manager needs to attack in an organization so what the primary goal is that is of course both optimization of the economic cost profit and benefits so and that also not only in the case of the economic cost profit and benefits
getting a uh, one customer, one, uh, one, one customer. So you imagine, I am a seller and he is my customer. I sell a product to him. Okay. So if he gets very good feedback, okay, about my products, he will be saying the same about my product to all his friends. So feedback is very very important to every product. So what sort of feedback is that? Yes, the product is very good. You can use giving a recommendation to his neighbor and he will be recommending another five person. Gaining more profit and support may not be there. So, uh, so many.